What's up guys, Brett here with Good Talk Gaming bringing you back to some more ARAM on Heroes of the Storm. And me and my buddy Prolane just got through stomping a game, so I thought, you know what, let me go ahead and record this. We might have another winning streak on our hands here. But I'm looking at our opponents and there's some pretty high level players here. So definitely not going to be a pushover game. But let's uh, let's see what we get in the draft. I want to bring you guys in right before the draft, do my intro, and let you guys see the drafting process for those of you who don't get to play much on your own. My friend go ahead. He goes ahead and insta locks Jaina, and I don't blame him. I'm gonna take Tyrio here. I have a super tank chin. A melee bruiser and Kerrigan. She's recently been reworked. I haven't got a chance to play her yet. And then Tyrael, who's kind of a hybrid tank bruiser character. So I'm going to go ahead and get him. And no one decided to heal. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we get matched against a team with no healers and we do not they get Lily. So, <laughs> might have brought you guys in on a rough game. Lots of people decide to get selfish in these game modes. You know, it is a fun game mode. It's not all about winning. But there are certain things you have to do in order to even have a chance of winning. And usually having a healer is one of those things. So let's hope that we can do something here. Looking around, I pretty much have the only defensive ability on our team so that is not good Ugh, almost have to go justice for all just to shield my team Remain steadfast. but I'm gonna go my normal build with ardent restoration God, it's so bad. Uh, honestly, at this point, it's pretty easy to get salty and say, uh, I'm out. Because we have AFKers, we have people just kind of chilling. And I don't know how we're going to be able to push out against this team. Now, worth noting, my friend Proland and I did not even have the option to pick healers, or else we 100% would have. Um, both of us are pretty good at playing any type of character. We're not really pigeonholed into any specific type. And we're also not selfish players. A lot of the time when we're playing, we, we pick heroes we don't necessarily want just because we know our team comp needs it. It's more fun to win on a hero that you're not super familiar with than it is to lose horribly because you just didn't get the team comp you needed to make it work. And I'm just throwing out my Eldruin to soften up the wave before it gets to our gate. I have no intention of teleporting in, into them. Give my buddy a shield, not enough to save him, unfortunately. And we get a pick there, but... Yeah. It's either going to be a long, unfun game, or a very short, unfun game. I hate to be so negative on this video, but it really, picking really does matter. I'm going to opt for the armor here. And 
And I'm gonna try and go on Lily, but that's not that's not gonna work out for me. Pop my shield at the last second and see if I make it out. Oh, and I make it out. And I am super dead. Tried to block the hook there for Jaina, and I thought I did. Honestly, it, it just went right by me. Matrix style. By Eldruin's light. Woo! Pop our sword. Use our shield to catch some of that poison for our allies. And we can stand toe to toe with stitches, no problem. Individually, they're not that scary. It's just the fact that they have the the constant heals coming from Lily, and every bit of damage we take is is semi permanent, and they can afford to just trade all day, whereas we cannot. And once we lose our healing fountain, we're going to lose our only source of healing. And I'm looking like death here. And I'm not dead, but I might as well be. And I would like to have saved her, but I don't think I could have reasonably. Did just enough damage to get that pick. Once again, just helping where I can, dodging in and out of combat. Giving that shield to our allies. Staying out of range of all of their poke. Ten seconds on the fountain. I don't think our Faustad knows what requires help. what this game mode is all about because he just flew back to Understood. flew back to to base to heal I guess not knowing that you can't heal an ARAM from the core Evil. got our shield there a second too late to try and to save Faustad stop ourselves from taking some of that damage over time and they already have ults so that's pretty brutal a little bit of damage heals us thanks to our first talent so we're gonna throw the sword whenever we can see we're getting that pass at 13 regen and I'm gonna go Judgment. I think our only chance is for us to pick off the squishies. Justice be done. And that's, I think that's our only chance to win this. There we go, get some value off of our passive. Let my team know what my game plan is. I think if we take out Lily before she can do her ult, things like that, it'll even the playing field. Even if I have to die, I'll probably soak up quite a bit of their damage on the engage. And of course, I'm getting eaten. And I just used my ability, which would save me. Need a couple seconds. And I didn't get it off in time. Put some damage on the fountain. Let's get law and order here. I don't need the additional teleportation. Evil will be rooted out. 
Unfortunately, this might not go to the late game where I think we're somewhat favored. do some damage here. Focus mode intensifies. Shield us from that poison and we did great. We turned that incredibly bad fight. Now let's get burning Halo. The more instances of damage we can do, the better. And without Stitch's ult, they're going to have a hard time protecting Lili from me and from Lunara. And we were fortunate enough to stun Lili inside of Faustad's ult at the beginning of that fight. And that really forced them to retreat. They, they really didn't have any options at that point. Like the way. Oh. And we have to be now. Make a little path for our ally, and they they all died. So we needed to we needed to get out of there as soon as we lost our first hero. Back in the day when the game first dropped, Tyrael was my favorite hero. One of the only heroes I bought skins for. A little too late, but I think we're all going to die anyway. Put a little damage on them. But yeah, getting caught out like that, that's just GG. As the tank, you know, I can't play too conservative. I definitely want to be in front of my team, taking that damage. But in these scenarios, we all just want to hang back until it's time to engage. My team just needed to wait for my judgment and then go in. But I can see how with Stitches and Cassia, they're able to close the distance very easily. It's kind of what they do. And a good ult from my buddy. Let me see if we can't hunt these guys down. Move my camera. And we want this kill. Uh, too much self-healing, not enough damage. Oh my god, and I got eaten. Woo. Get me out of here. And we're gonna pop him. Make those plays. Get me the hell out of here. I must act. And if we had a healer, <laughs> this would this would be a point where I could heal back up and get back in this fight. But uh, as of right now, I may well die. as much damage as I can to spread. Damn. Put that damage on stitches, hopefully we get the kill. Yeah, we do. But it's too little too late. We had a chance to turn it there a few minutes ago. But... Our allies got picked just once, once too often. But it was good games. M 
MVP. And we did great. I mean, we did a lot of a lot of fighting damage, but we were the only ones who could engage really. I'm going to vote for my friend. He did fine considering he had no support. And that's going to be it, guys. We're going to jump into another one here. And I'll see you then.